Om Sum was walking through a park on a cool autumn morning when something beautiful caught his eye. The trees had turned bright shades of yellow, orange, and red. <laughs> Amazed, Am Sum wondered, why do leaves change color? <laughs> Determined to find out, he shrank and entered a nearby leaf. He landed inside the leaf's surface. Om Sum looked around and saw structures called chloroplasts. They were full of a green pigment called chlorophyll. During warm months, chlorophyll absorbed sunlight and helped the tree make food. It gave the leaves their rich green color. But as Om Sum explored deeper, he noticed something changing. The air outside had become cooler and daylight was shorter. The tree sensed huh? the change in seasons. It began to slow down its food-making process because winter was approaching. Inside the leaf, the chlorophyll that once worked non-stop had started breaking down, fading little by little. With the green color disappearing, Amsum began to see huh? other pigments that had always been there huh? but were hidden before. Bright yellow and orange pigments spread warm shades throughout the leaf. As autumn appeared, huh? Amsum watched sugars trapped in the leaf react with sunlight and cold air, creating rich red colors. The leaf around him was now a mix of colors, glowing with reds, oranges, and yellows. Smiling proudly, Amsum now <laughs> understood the mystery. Amsum was sipping a fizzy drink when suddenly a loud burp escaped from his mouth. Embarrassed, Amsum wondered, why do we burp? Determined to know, Amsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place was busy, bubbling with liquid and food. Around him, waves of muscles were churning and mixing everything together. But what caught his attention were pockets of air rising up through the mix. Amsum tried to find out where the bubbles came from. Some had entered when he swallowed food too quickly. Others had formed from the fizzy drink, releasing carbon dioxide gas inside the stomach. Suddenly, the brain sensed the pressure and sent a command. The stomach walls tightened and the esophageal sphincter valve at the top of the stomach opened briefly. Amsum huh? stumbled as the trapped air shot upward through the food pipe. It roared through the throat and with a final burst escaped <coughs> through the mouth. Huh? Outside, it was heard as a burp. As another bubble rose, Amsum clung to the moving walls. He saw that burping wasn't random or useless. It was the body's way of getting rid of extra air that didn't belong in the stomach. If the air stayed trapped, it would only cause pressure and discomfort. Leaping back outside, Om Sum smiled proudly. Om Sum was stargazing one evening when his eyes landed on Saturn. Its giant rings sparkled like a crown in the sky. Om Sum looked back at Earth and wondered why doesn't Earth have rings like Saturn? Curious to know, he set off on a space adventure. He reached the Earth's orbit and floated nearby. Suddenly, Aumsum felt Earth's strong pull tugging at him. He realized that if rocks or ice drifted close to Earth, gravity would pull them inward. Instead of staying as rings, they would burn up in the atmosphere as shooting stars or crash down as meteorites. Then, a glowing portal appeared, carrying Om Sum back to the early days of Earth. He saw huge chunks of rock and dust swirling after a giant collision. For a moment, it looked like Earth might form rings. But as time passed, the pieces clumped together growing larger and larger until they formed one big companion, the moon. Long ago, icy moons or comets wandered too close to the giant planet. Saturn's powerful gravity tore them apart inside the Roche limit, 
a region where pieces cannot join back into a moon. The icy huh? pieces stayed scattered, spreading out into the bright rings that still circle Saturn today. Thomson <laughs> finally understood the truth.